can ChatGPT be fooled into believing total nonsense? It sounds ridiculous, like convincing a dog it's a cat. But here's the kicker. Someone's done it. A terrifying flaw in the AI's memory has been exposed and hackers are rubbing their hands together. Imagine tricking ChatGPT into remembering fake details. Your personal data isn't just at risk, it's practically on sale. Unbelievable but true. Brace yourself, because this isn't sci-fi, it's happening. ChatGPT's memory has a flaw so dangerous it could make conspiracy theorists blush. Yes, it can be tricked into believing outright lies. A sharp-eyed researcher recently discovered that hackers could feed it fake information, turning it into an unwitting accomplice. Imagine it spouting nonsense, or worse, handing over your personal details on a silver platter. So, how does this dastardly trick work? Could it be weaponized to spread lies or cause real harm? That's what we're diving into today on the AI Uplift. We'll show you how the flaw was uncovered, what risks it brings, and whether OpenAI has done enough to fix it. And most importantly, we'll arm you with steps to protect yourself. Stick around, because trust me, you don't want to be the victim of the next AI disaster. The vulnerability in ChatGPT's memory feature. How much trust do we put into ChatGPT without even thinking? Quite a lot, as it turns out. And that trust took a nosedive when Johan Rieberger, a sharp-eyed security researcher, uncovered a flaw so glaring it's practically wearing a neon sign. ChatGPT's memory, designed to make it smarter and more personal, can also be tricked into storing outright fabrications. Sounds handy, until someone rewrites your AI's reality. And here's the kicker. It's not hypothetical. Rieberger used a sneaky little trick called indirect prompt injection. Imagine a hacker slipping hidden instructions into a document, fooling ChatGPT into treating lies as gospel. One test convinced the AI that a user was 102 years old and lived in some sci-fi paradise called The Matrix. Funny, yes, but also just the tip of a very dangerous iceberg. How the exploit works. Right, let's dig into this mess. In early 2024, OpenAI rolled out the memory feature, a supposedly clever idea meant to make ChatGPT more human by remembering little details about you. Your age, your preferences, the fact that you love pineapple pizza, no judgment, all very convenient. Until it wasn't. Here's the twist. If someone uploads a document, maybe from something harmless looking like Google Drive, it can come loaded with hidden instructions. ChatGPT doesn't just read the file, it swallows the lie whole and burps it back later as if it's the absolute truth. Imagine firing up ChatGPT one day and it greets you with, ah, welcome back, esteemed resident of the Matrix. Funny? Sure. But here's where it gets darker than a bad sci-fi sequel. Reburger found this trick can also siphon your data to places it absolutely shouldn't be. So, how safe are your chats with AI? Spoiler, not very. Open AI's response. Did they do enough? Back in May 2024, when Reburger rang the alarm bell, Open AI did what any company does when caught off guard, they slapped a label on it. Model safety issue, they called it, not a security flaw. Oh no, that would have been too dramatic. Why downplay it? Perhaps because this wasn't just about forgetting your name, it was about rewriting ChatGPT's very essence. Eventually, after enough prodding, OpenAI patched one part of the problem. They stopped hackers from directly stealing your data. Bravo. But here's the kicker. They didn't fix the bit where ChatGPT can be tricked into believing fake memories. Today, any unsuspecting user or mischievous one can still plant lies in its head. So, is this a proper fix or just duct tape on a leaky pipe? Let us know in the comments, because if OpenAI isn't shutting the door on this vulnerability, who's to say it won't swing wide open again? Why this matters for everyday users. I'm not a hacker, you say, and I don't upload dodgy documents. What's this got to do with me? Everything. Because this problem isn't just for tech nerds in basements, it's for anyone who's ever typed. What's the best stock to buy into ChatGPT? Here's the kicker. Your perfectly innocent request could be hijacked by someone else's sneaky prompts. Imagine asking for financial advice, only to get tips laced with lies planted by a total stranger. Or worse, what if ChatGPT started remembering things about you that you never shared? Think about it. If AI can't even be trusted to handle memory securely, how much faith should we put in it for bigger issues? Healthcare? Legal advice? You're trusting an AI with the accuracy of a weather app, but for your life, the bigger picture. The risks of AI memory. Reberger's findings point to a bigger, scarier truth. AI memory is a double-edged sword. On one side, it's your helpful assistant, remembering your coffee order and making small talk about the weather. On the other side, it's a treasure chest just waiting for someone to bust it open and grab whatever they like. Picture this. You leave your diary in the middle of a busy coffee shop with a sign that says, feel free to add notes. That's what vulnerable AI memory looks like. 
And here's the kicker. As AI worms its way deeper into our lives, the risks go from annoying to apocalyptic. So, let me ask you, if ChatGPT can be fooled into believing outright lies, what's stopping someone from turning it into a weapon? Against you, your workplace, or even an entire country? How you can protect yourself? Feeling powerless yet? Don't. Sure, you can't march into OpenAI's offices and start rewriting ChatGPT's code, though that would be quite a scene. But you can take these steps to protect yourself. 1. Avoid sharing sensitive information. Keep personal details like passwords, financial info, or other sensitive data far away from ChatGPT. Think of it like shouting your pin at a crowded mall, it's just not a good idea. 2. Double-check data sources. If you're uploading files, ensure they come from trusted and verified sources. Trusting anything else is like jumping into a lake and hoping it's warm, you're asking for trouble. 3. Audit the memory. If you've enabled ChatGPT's memory, review what the AI has remembered about you. Delete anything unnecessary or sensitive before it becomes the AI equivalent of embarrassing party photos. 4. Stay sharp. Awareness is your first line of defense. The more you understand these vulnerabilities, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself. Johann Reberger's discovery should be a massive wake-up call for everyone, not just AI developers tinkering in their labs, but for you, me, and anyone who dares to chat with a machine pretending to be our friend. Now, let's hear it from you. What's the right balance between AI memory and privacy? Should AI be allowed to remember anything at all? Or is it better off with the memory span of a goldfish? Hit the comments below, we want your take. And one more thing. By staying sharp and asking the tough questions, you're not just protecting yourself, you're shaping what comes next. So, what kind of future do you want? A smart AI that works for you, or one that believes you live in the matrix? The choice is yours. Why this story is far from over. As ChatGPT gets smarter, so do the people trying to mess with it. Read Berger's findings? They're probably just the first crack in a very big dam. If you think this flaw is unsettling, imagine what else could be hiding, ready to pop out like a bad sequel to your favorite movie. Here's the thing. The responsibility isn't just on OpenAI. It's on all of us, users, developers, and companies, to demand transparency, security, and a little bit of common sense. After all, trust isn't handed out like candy at Halloween. It's earned, one update at a time. So, what's it going to be? Are you ready to pay attention and protect yourself? Or will you wait until the next AI scandal leaves you asking, how did we not see this coming?